You seeing this? Oh yeah. Look at. Yeah, he's burying him up. Hey, what kind of nonsense is this? Red. You're not gonna give him to me? For real? Like you're gonna keep doing this with me standing right here? Seriously? He ain't even paying you no mind. He's not, he acts like I'm not even here. <laughs> That's not even right. The, give me that squirrel. You guys, I don't know what, I don't know what it is about my dog. I let him sleep in my bed. He sleeps on my couch. He killed one of Mr. Dalton's pillows today and he just tried to bury my squirrel. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. I hijacked my 10 year old's pellet gun. I got some pellets, I got a squirrel dog and we're here in Benel, Florida at the Double C Ranch. We're gonna go check some feeders, check some corn stations, some tree stands and I'm gonna show you guys if you come here what you can expect. It's a free range ranch 4500 acres dalton here keeps all the stand locations corn he says the squirrels are just eating him alive i love eating squirrel and i got a pellet gun and a little squirrel dog and we're gonna take y'all along let's go um that looks a little heavy for squirrels well we got a long barrel just in case an old coyote or a hog is slipping around during the middle of the day today when oh. you ain't got one of these that's when you're gonna see one <laughs> I see we went from a squirrel hunt to we're now scavenging whatever runs out. That's right. Might get dusted. Redneck, are you ready for a hog as well? He don't <laughs> care. Lizards, roaches, squirrels, rats. That dog loves them all. So there's the tree stand. Here's his corn location. And there's his trail cam he patrols this place he knows what's going on he knows what the game's doing now it is a free range no high fence so it is hunting still it's not 100 percent guarantee but he's got a really good kill ratio the coolest part is though is when these hogs want to play that nocturnal bull crap where they only want to come out and eat corn at night what you got for them oh they can they can run but they can't hide from us at night that's for sure <laughs> We got them thermal scopes. They don't stand a chance with those. He breaks out the thermals and makes the nighttime daytime. Trust me, you won't be disappointed with this place. Now, let me tell you about the squirrel video. I had no idea I was going to do one. Earlier when we came out, Redneck had a squirrel tree. And I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if it's squirrel season. They Googled it. It opened yesterday, you guys. We've already dusted one and cleaned it. Let's watch that. And when we get back, we'll be at the next tree stand location. And then once this sun starts to get a little bit lower and the squirrels come back out, we're going on a squirrel killing, and then we're gonna cook them. Yeah, he's right there. Oh boy, go him, redneck. We're about to have some squirrel dumplings. Miss him again? No, I got him. Here he comes, redneck. <laughs> Get him! Oh my goodness. All right, boys, we're having squirrel dumplings. That's enough. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Drop he's him. Been, he's been waiting for this all day. <laughs> we're having squirrel <laughs> dumplings and swamp cabbage, y'all. Now we need about four or five more. Yeah. <laughs> we were getting ready to all get geared up and go hog hunting and deer hunting tonight. Blue Gobby's going squirrel hunting. Had no idea of a season. Redneck, you did good. Redneck, come here. You happy? You a happy puppy? Oh, Redneck is stoked. All right, typically I don't do the cleaning until the end of the video, but we just realized that squirrel season opened up October 10th. We've stepped outside and there one was, so we're going to clean this one so y'all can see how. Kelly's going deer hunting tonight. Dalton and I are going to squirrel hunt. So you remove their little legs, like so. Oh, it's kind of like the toad. Yep, just like a toady. Mm. 
They're just squirrels. Nothing special. And then you remove the head over here. <laughs> Get Renick! So I take right on their back and I cut just a little hole about like that so I can get my fingers in the skin. For those of y'all watching that squirrel hunt, you already know what I'm doing. But a squirrel is just like a rabbit or a frog. You just get your hand in that skin and you just start pulling. And just like that one clean squirrel looks just like a tree rat because that's what it is. Everybody thinks, oh, cute squirrel, but then if a big rat runs by, they, eh, disgusting. That's what a squirrel is. Spread it thin to win. A lot of places, they like putting out feeders and whatnot, but uh, I just like throwing out a couple canfuls of corn a few times a week. That'll, that'll keep them hogs coming around good enough. There's a few bears that's on this place, and when I first started guiding hunts out here, shit, about 10 years ago, there was two bears. They found every single one of my feeders and destroyed them. And ever since then, I ain't never put up another feeder. <laughs> yeah, no need to. Nope. Plus with those feeders, they'll learn the time that the feeders go off. Then they, it's just not a natural thing for them. If you come out here and just sling corn real thin, it's really natural and they feel a lot more comfortable. All right, so we just pulled up to another stand location. I'm gonna show you something that's very interesting that Dalton does for these hogs. What do you do with your old cooking oil? Yep. Peanut oil, vegetable oil, whatever you got, whatever kind of oil. Yep. It's got to be some type of burnt vegetable oil, but you can put it out on the tree and the hogs, they'll come and rub on it. Look and at that. He's got it on this tree. And this one over here. Look at that. Don't throw your old cooking oil away if you like hunting wild hogs. Put it on a tree and watch what they do. That's your fun fact of the week. You thinking about putting Kelly here tonight? That's what I was thinking. Damn hogs, they're coming here. For sure. You hot or what? You're like, Gabe, what the heck are you doing at the Dollar Gentral? Guys, guess what? It's the heat of the day and all the squirrels are up hiding and sleeping and, and taking their afternoon naps. I'm gonna go up in here and get some white rice for my meal that I'm cooking with the squirrels. When you see me again, hopefully, I got a big old fat gray squirrel in my crosshairs with the pellet gun and we're doing work. Got him. That's what I'm talking about, old son. That didn't take long. I just got home from the store. Obviously, you already know I had to go to the Dollar General, and I forgot to let Redneck out. He's going to be pissed. Come on. Let's go. Son, I've already got one without you. Come on. You're running late. Where's that squirrel? Where's that squirrel? Let's find you. Where's that squirrel? Where's that squirrel? That big old swamp buggy, though. Where's that squirrel? Let's see if he can find this dead one. Redneck, he's already dead. Quit. We gotta eat that one. Get off of him. Give him to me. Did you get Kelly up in the tree set up? We got her set up. She's in a good spot too, man. This ate up with hog kind. She oughta, she oughta get on one there this afternoon for sure. Well, we got two squirrels. I done knocked one down. So we can definitely have squirrel for dinner. I've already cleaned one, just killed another one. And I'm sure the squirrel killing's not done yet. They're just now starting to come out. I literally pulled up in the driveway. There was one standing on my tackle box and one standing on the seat. Yeah, we need to get these ones that are hanging out around the camp. They keep chewing a hole through the screen too. So it's a good thing that we're getting these ones. Look, we're not done hunting, not even close to done hunting, but this dish I'm going to make takes a little while to make. So we came in here real quick. We give them a break for a second. It's actually a little bit too early anyways. I'm gonna cook these two. I've got the same recipe I'm making right now in the oven already with deer meat. But I'm gonna show y'all how to make it with squirrel. A little bit of the spicy Danos. Got the grease ready behind me. A little bit of salt. You don't have to over season it the way I'm doing it because I'm gonna add a bunch to it later. Just a little bit of flour. 
get it all up in them nooks and crannies. I got a serious cameraman today, Dalton. His first time up the bat for Blue Gate release. He said he's filmed some turkey hunts, some deer hunts. I can't express it enough, you guys. This place is absolutely amazing. I've been to a lot of places and hunted with a lot of people. This place is top notch. We're about, what are we, an hour and a half from Jacksonville? Yeah, about an hour, hour and a half south of Jacksonville. Just west of Daytona, about four hours from Miami, only two and a half, three hours from where I live. Centrally located in Central Florida. Look, I left the tails on just to add a little bit of that. Look at that right there, though. I just want to brown them right now. When I was thinking about how I wanted to cook them, all I could think about was Duck Dynasty and how Mama used to say, I love squirrel brains. I mean, no way I'm eating squirrel brains. No way. All right, so I took the one and quartered it up a little bit just to make more room in the pan. The other squirrel was a little bit smaller. They're far from cooked. They're not even close to being cooked. They're just what we call brown. I only need about that much grease. I got some onions in the excess flour that was in the pan, or that, that I breaded them with. Just gonna brown these onions now. I had turned the heat off because I didn't want the stuff to get too hot. Turn it back on. That little bit of flour will soak up and attach itself to any of the seasonings that were in there. I like to cook the onions for a little bit before I do the next part. And I definitely love to use sweet onions. Here's where the magic comes, and this is where you gotta pay attention a little bit, because a little bit of flour goes a long ways. I use about that much. And you start stirring it up. We're making a gravy, a roux, whatever you wanna call it. South Florida, we call it gravy. So with a typical gravy, I would just add milk and water and start seasoning it to get it to taste. This, I wanna add some cream of mushroom. Just typical cream of mushroom. Two cans of it. I'm gonna stir that in. I can tell you one thing, it smells good. Now I have it stirred in, it's nasty, it's gooey. You have to add water at this point. And be careful, because that pan's a lot hotter than it looks. And this water's freezing cold. Turn your heat all the way up. You'll notice it starts to get that perfect consistency quickly. But because I added all that flour, I gotta add plenty of water. You can do this recipe with pork chops, with chicken, fried steak, anything. It's about squirrel time, ain't it? Mm-hmm. I have a feeling they're gonna be coming out. One more thing. About a cup of milk, or two cups, whichever one you prefer. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna bring this to boil. All right, so now I see how much gravy I have, I wanna season it a little bit. Because until I see how much I have, I don't know how much seasoning to use. I'm gonna take just, again, some of the spicy dano. Not going too heavy. Black pepper. And where's the salt? Right here. About that much. Stir it up one more time. Turn this heat off. Then we're gonna take these squirrel parts and put them right back in there. Is that tail freaking any of y'all out? Sort of freaking me out, if you wanna know the truth. 
Look at that. Get it all in there like that. Make a big pot of white rice, some buttermilk biscuits. We're gonna be eating good tonight. That's it. All I'm gonna do now is put it in the oven, 250 degrees for probably two and a half hours. We'll be back soon because we're going squirrel hunting again. Son, are you ready for a race or what? I know y'all are like, wait a second, you're supposed to be squirrel hunting. Kelly and I just got back to the house. We've had a long trip. I'm editing this squirrel video as Redneck decides he needs a drink. And it's gonna be like 45 minutes long. You guys, I haven't even got to the good squirrel hunting footage yet. So I'm gonna do a two part video. I'm gonna end it right here. And tomorrow I'll start editing the second part. I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed in this. The squirrel's cooked. Now we're going hunting again. And then when we get back, we're gonna eat. Kelly eats her first squirrel. And we got a bunch of surprise footage at the end. So you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that notification button and subscribe. That way when I upload, you get the notification. Make sure you check out Kelly's channel. And I hope you all have a great night. I'll see you again tomorrow.